Hello. Um, I've had three skaters within the last, or parents, skaters of parents, parents of skaters, within the last month ask me about uh, new skates. So I'm going to do a uh, introductory description of when to get new skates, how to get new skates, where to get new skates, etc., uh, etc. Et First topic is when do you get new skates? Um, Again, this is for my, for newer skaters, junior skaters, which most of my most of my skaters are right now, and really most skaters in Canada are. Um, there tend to be less and less populations of people at higher levels. Um, you basically only get new skates when your old skates don't fit anymore. When your kids complaining about uh, their feet hurting, uh, you should. Watch that when you're off the ice for a month or a few weeks due to an injury or a vacation or if you have a break between seasons, uh, we often do in June here or through parts of summer. Once your kids' uh, feet are free of their skates, they tend to grow like crazy. Uh, I always went up a, a usually a shoe size in the off season when I was between sessions uh, once a year. Uh, and then when I went back to skate again, my skates would never fit. Uh, occasionally, I couldn't even get my feet in my skates. So you should always be aware when you have a month or a month and a half layoff that your kids' feet are probably, if they've been squished all year, they're going to want to grow, and they're just not going to fit into their skates when they get back. So that's the point at which you want to try to get new skates. I've had a few parents try anticipate getting new skates because they want to be right on top of things, and they get them when they're still skating at the end of spring, then they have a month or a month and a half layoff till summer, and they don't fit by the time they get to summer. So don't, uh, I, I would really hesitate to get them uh, before the off-ice portion of their year. You really want to get them as close to the end of the off-ice portion of their year as possible. I do have a section in here about uh, taking care of skates. If you take care of your skates, it's very likely because your kids will grow out of skates long before they break down. They should maintain most of their value, which means you can probably, it's like a car, once it's off the lot, it kind of loses half its value, but if you can get half your value back from every pair of skates you have by passing them on to someone else, uh, several of the clubs in this area have a recycling type uh, situation where you can sell your skates to the club, and the club will look after selling them to new people. I think a couple of the shops here also deal with secondhand skates. Um, a couple of the skating boutiques, skating service places. Uh, so the next question is, once you've determined that you're going to need new skates, I've just told you when to get them and when to check about them, uh, what kind of brand of skates do you get, where do you get them? Uh, which are kind of similar questions. I think at some point, and we may already be there, it may be possible to go online and somebody from one of these skate companies will figure out how to have a, a, a very user-friendly, ignorance-friendly website where you can put in your skater's age, what tests you're on, how much they weigh, how many, how many hours they skate a week, and they'll plug in the right skate, skates for you or, or a range of skates that are good for you. Uh, I don't know if we're quite there yet. Um, so to get the, the proper range of skates for you, you still pretty much need to go to um, a, skating, a figure skating boutique a figure skating store that specializes in ordering and fitting figure skates for kids. Currently in Halifax, there's only two of these. Uh, one is Skates on the Move, which is in Sackville. It's the one that I've uh, uh, recently, I think, given the name out to a few Bedford skaters just because it's more convenient for you. The second one is the Inside Edge, which is a boutique in Dartmouth. Uh, up around Caledonia School in that area, uh, Montebello Drive. I don't really have, uh, I've never really had much of a preference between boutiques. Um, I think every boutique I've ever heard of in, in anywhere has people who rave about how great they are and people who complain about them. And a lot of it tends to be socially or politically motivated, not competence motivated, so it's really hard to get an accurate gauge 
of, of which shop or which store is actually better and the fact of the matter is they're all better than something like uh, sports wheels or uh, Canadian Tire or please don't get your skates to Canadian Tire now uh, I did buy hockey skates last year from Sh Cleves? I think it was Cleves and they had a range of figure skates on their shelf uh, a fairly decent range. I don't think they had the upper upper range, but they went from I think fifty dollars to two hundred and fifty dollars, which is pretty much the range you have you want for juniors. Um, but looking at that range, even I don't know. I didn't know the brands. I didn't know the companies. I, I knew them, but I didn't know. I, I don't know how to rank them as far as quality or longevity or uh, how much their product stands up. So I would really hesitate to buy them from even from a place like Cleves, which seemed to have a decent collection. Um, unless you find out at some point you have a brand loyalty, you have a pair of skates that you bought for your daughter or son and they fit perfectly and you never had any problems, they didn't have any foot problems, uh, then you probably want to go to that skate again. And at that point you probably want to go online to get it, not directly from the company and not from any third party source, intermediary source. Me personally, I have no real uh, loyalty to skate brands. Uh, skate companies tend to come and go fairly quickly, uh, and just as quickly with new management or new procedures, they can either improve their quality or make it worse pretty much year to year. So it's really hard to remain uh, 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 super loyal to a company or to a skate or to a brand or to a skate blade. Uh, so I don't. I just don't bother to keep up with it. Uh, I'm far more interested in keeping up with actually getting kids to skate well. What you actually skate on is, to, in a large part, interchangeable, uh, and it's a lot of it's trial and error. You have to try a brand if you like it and it works, great. Keep going with that brand until it's not available anymore. Uh, if not, don't. Uh, the I will say the only brand that I have had uh, significant complaints about recently, uh, let's, and by recently I mean the last decade, are um, Don Jackson. They're the only brand of skate that I would not recommend. Uh, not particularly because I think they're bad. I know a lot of people that like them, but I also know at least a half dozen people that had uh, major ankle and foot and skin problems in their skates due to the skates. And it's the only brand that I can think of in the last decade, decade and a half, that I've had complaints about at all. Um, and again, if you try one on and it feels great, I don't care. I mean, I'm sure the complaints were one out of ten, so still 90% of the, their customers are probably fine with it. Uh, but there are lots of other brands out there. I would try another one. And if you ever have any problems with a brand, make sure you let me know so I can fill in my information on skating companies, skating brands. The only common complaint... I guess there are two common complaints about buying skates that I have found. The first is if they're fit badly. Uh, occasionally you get parents that want to save money and don't want to have their kids grow out of their skates, so they buy skates that are extra large to allow the feet to grow, don't do that. That's bad. That's very bad. It's very bad for your kid's feet. You're likely to develop ankle problems, muscle problems, cramps, uh, blisters, all kinds of other foot problems because your feet aren't designed to slide around and move around inside your skates. Uh, I also have parents that don't want to spend a pair of new skates, say at Christmas, their skates have been outgrown, their kid's skates and they want to wait till the end of the year, so they force their kid to skate in skates that are way too small for four months. I actually fell into that category several years myself. Um, that's actually not, not as big a problem. It's, it's going to end up having them have weirdly shaped toes that are crammed together at the end of their foot, but in the end it shouldn't... Uh, that's probably a better option than, op than getting bigger skates and trying to get them to fit into it. That's never going to work. But even getting more specific to, as to fit, I've had people uh, fit the heel too wide, or the toes too wide, or the toes too narrow. Uh, this, and this is where the boat, skating boutique is supposed to help out. They should have some measurement of your foot, and if your foot's irregularly wide or irregularly narrow, you're probably not going to be able to go with any kind of regular brand that somebody of your age and level would, would go with. You'll have to get a, a special order, a custom order, or um, order something a little weird for your level. 
the second mistake people make, which I don't expect, again, if you go to a boutique, it should never happen, is getting a pair of skates that's either much, much uh, poorer quality than you need or much, much greater quality than you need. If you're talking a seven or eight year old with a regular size foot just starting out their first or second year of skating, a good skate can range from about maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars to about four hundred dollars. You don't really need to get higher than probably three hundred, three fifty, and I could be total. I'm kind of guessing here. I haven't looked at skate prices in ages, but I'm thinking two hundred is probably a really good skate. But essentially, the range from one hundred to four hundred is going to be roughly the same skate. They're all going to be fine for you. They're all going to be good. If you go with the way upper end skate, the $400, $500, $600 skate, the chances are for a seven-year-old that skate's going to overpower them. It's never going to break down. It's never going to break in. It's never going to mold to their feet. It's never going to be comfortable enough um, because it's way too stiff, and uh, high quality, way too stiff, way too much support for what they need. At the same time, if you get a $40 pair of CCM Canadian Tire Skates, they're they have no support right from the outset. Their spine is weak, they flop around, uh, they're gonna have no ankle support, which means they're gonna have sprained ankles, twisted ankles, uh, and a lot of ankle uh, injuries over the, over the time they wear those. So you want to avoid that as well. But anything in the middle range is, is likely to be sufficient. But like I said, I would definitely go to somebody who is an expert until the online um, community ends up catching up and, and with self-service videos, self-service applications, self-service um, what's that? Uh, self-service uh, menus or something that you can serve yourself, uh, which really should be on the way. Uh, I would really try to always go to a figure skating store, not a sports store, not a hockey skate store, uh, certainly not a rink, and I wouldn't particularly ask me. There are some coaches that really try to uh, stay up to date on what the products coming out are, uh, but most of, them, most, of the, most of the coaches are not. They will convince themselves they're an expert on skates, but I wouldn't trust their opinion. There are a few that I think are uh, I would much rather spend my time learning how to actually coach and learning technique, learning tests, learning changes and tests, learning competitions, learning uh, you know various other aspects of coaching. Uh, other than the peripherals like that, there are experts at fitting skates and ordering skates and buying skates and looking after skates, and you might as well let them do their jobs. Uh, it might take a little more time, but it's not really going to take a lot more money. I think that's it. When you get to much, much higher levels, uh, the process changes a little bit because you don't end up growing out of your skates, you end up breaking down your skates, but it, that really doesn't happen until 11, 12, 13 years old. Maybe your feet stop growing, maybe you're uh, so light that you never have to worry about that, or until you start skating super fast, super hard, jumping high, really abusing your skates. You're not ever going to break them down. They're going to be pretty much in pristine shape the whole time you're wearing them and even when you pass them on to someone else. So I would, you, the basic skate technique, you don't have to worry about that. Bye.